All right, so back to this. First things first, not sure if you can hear it, but we pretty much have like flooding and then like torrential downpour going on the outside, you know, like heavy thunderstorms, but, you know, funny enough, that's part of the reason I'm able to do this recording right now, but if you hear anything, just ignore it, right? It happened in the last one, but it is what it is, and yeah, I mean, but beyond that, we're just going to continue on. It's actually pretty early. It's 11.45 a.m. Me at the time for recording. It's not p.m. So maybe it will do double, maybe not. I wouldn't read it or wouldn't bank on it. Who knows? Even doing this is like, uh, again, this is kind of uh, wouldn't have expected to do it this early. But again, big thing there being, yeah, it's just part, what, 73 now? I was looking at the uh, parts. But I mean, the, the big thing and what I've been saying is that Seems like I hate to say it. It seems like Nazis round may end up being like wrapping up, right? You know, it's like it seems to be, you know, moving by quickly. I mean, they're already together, you know, um, kind of went over their issues again. We do know, and we did confirm this in the last part, and that was the big thing. We went back, funny enough, I went back, tried to get the good ending, failed. So I have no idea how I got the first time, but I just went back to my video. Because again, besides having some sneaking suspicions about her line, I could have also sworn her mentioning her mother dying. So we went back to one of the previous ones in Yuri's I think it was like part 60 or something. And we literally saw, as she meant, again, she confirmed herself in her own words at that point that her mother was dead. So we confirmed that she is, again, withholding information from us. So or from the MC there. So it'll be interesting to see when that ends up getting brought to light later on. If it doesn't, that's interesting because then that means there's okay. Is there some, uh, a, is there a lag? Because the routes have been seemingly, they've been holding some pretty decent continuity between each other. But the question there is like, is there kind of a lack of continuity between each route? Then I've been assuming because again, they haven't been doing a pretty good job at it that basically just they've, there's been continuity between routes. But if you know they never touch on it, then I guess. We can kind of assume that maybe that's not the case. But again, it's very interesting. They're very interesting. But you know, my big worry concern is that it seems like the routes, you know, kind of like wrapping up, which is disappointing because it's kind of like it doesn't really feel fleshed out. Like it feels like it's kind of like the baseline minimum, at least as as of now, you know, till this point in the route, you know, they've been straightforward, direct and to the point. Right, you know, and they've been, you know, not being around the bush, which is something I respected. In fact, you know, for me, that was a positive, a plus. Um, at least earlier on in the route, the issue now is that okay, they're not expanding upon that, right? You know, again, who knows? We still got how I mean, we're past the crisp part, but we still have whoever knows how long until we reach the actual ending, we won't know. That's the big thing there. But what that comes down to, and is like, is that yeah, you just won't know, right. But it is kind of a concern in something that I felt the need to bring up uh, there because it's like, you know, if that's the case, it's like, because it, let's put it this way. Yuri's route definitely felt the most fleshed out. I mean, I preferred Sayori's. I feel like Sayori's route was overall better. It was a quality versus quantity thing, right? I feel like Yuri's route had more, but with what it did, Sayori's route did better, which is funny enough how I view this mod in comparison to the longer roads. But again, the big thing there is... I mean, for this, it's like, it really just seems like it's been, I don't know if it's like the mom, that, granted, at least we have a fucking Natsuki route, let's put it that way, still, you know, not forgetting about that, or still strung up on that, but it's like, I mean, we haven't had a choice since this, and we've only had three thus far, I don't want to say we're not getting any more, because then it's like, okay, fucking, then which, what actually determines the endings, right, because we know, again, it's only, the, regardless of whether you're on the good or ending, I'm pretty sure he ends up in a relationship, like, on every single route, but it's like, okay, you know, fucking when are we getting, will it be like a pair and what's going on with that? But I guess we won't know until we get into it. So we can uh, do that there. So, and again, I still find it fucking hilarious. She ordered literal sashimi and fucking ice cream and he ordered freaking soup and salad. It's like, he's actually going broke for this. So, I mean, salads can be good. Like if the, the big thing is that, you know, it's not a fucking shitty salad, right? You know, like salads can be good. Like, I feel, I feel like it's just because, I don't know, it's not because people don't like to eat healthy. It's because they just don't eat good, like healthy food and kind of equate it with tasting bad. That's like, you can have like good salads, right? The big thing is 
it, it's dressing, right? You know, and I'm not saying like the dressing itself matters. The thing is, because it's similar, similar to a sandwich. Like it, there needs to be some like, what would you call it? Like what, what's the term? There needs to be some like liquid aspect. There needs to be like some like, what's the term? I don't want to say moist because that's definitely wrong as fuck. It needs to be, there needs to be some like level of wetness to it. It just can't be completely dry. And that's usually what happens if you make a sandwich and it's like dry as fuck. Or like you make salad and it's just dry as fuck. There needs to be some like, you know, dressing involved. Like just to give it that like what I don't, I don't want to say it like that, but it's like, again, you know what I mean? So yeah, because we know she's literally fucking starving. So yeah, dude, like the fucking, that's hilarious. But to be fair, you kind of put that on yourself. Like granted, we know, cause we know she would pay for herself. She'd probably get like fucking bread, but it's like, again, you know, you did kind of put that on yourself, dude. It's literally just the first fucking meal. It's like, that remind me, there's this hilarious video on YouTube where it's like someone it's people are asking strangers like oh should the man pay for the first day or whatever you know yeah 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 for for the first dinner right and then like people say like oh yes you know it's gentlemanly chivalry you know people say like no they should uh split it or like no you know she should be like fronting something as well but then there was one person who was like i still remember this they're like he pays for first and second but then she makes the fucking third meal which i guess they've they're probably basically done at this point but it's like fucking sn- yeah that's why it's like because, again, she you know, put back on a couple. It's like, damn, it's fucking forget snowy. And it's like, big thing me and again, because, like, in case you don't know, like, I was raised in the Midwest, Illinois, right? Born and raised and lived there pretty much my whole life. But now, you know, for the past, like, past about, God, how many months have it been? Like, six? I guess close to six. You know, months I've been in, uh, I've been in Georgia, right? And it's like, you know, south and living here. And it's like, damn, you know, it's like, because we, like, well, I say we, but their Georgia winter is basically like Midwest, like fall. So it's like, it would rarely get below freezing. I don't think there's been a single, there was any snow this year. So it's like, it's a pretty, for me, it's pretty crazy and wild compared to like, you know, dealing with this back in like Illinois in the Midwest. But and funny enough, next place I'm moving to is Louisiana. So it's like, it'll just be more of that shit. But then again, you know, it's like uh, after that, who knows, maybe I go somewhere cold again. And it's like, damn, I need to like reacclimate, but I really, I do enjoy the snow though, you know, and I do kind of enjoy it. Granted, you know, I don't want it to be too cold. Like I couldn't live in like, let's say like, you know, freaking like where are some colder places? Uh, I couldn't live in like Alaska. That definitely cannot live there. Could not live in like Canada or at least like, you know, non like, what would you call it? Like Southern Canada where like most of their like country lives anyway. Um, I don't know how cold the Northeast US gets, but it, it doesn't seem like, it seems like the Midwest, okay, Minnesota probably the coolest fucking in the moon, but again you know it's like the, the and i went back for winter right you know went back home and i think i left when i left georgia i was like 60 came back to fucking illinois i was like 20 and i'm like damn really is a big difference there but it's like i do, I do enjoy you know i do enjoy snow right you know and the uh the cold the big thing is that you know it's not not for long periods but like you can hear i guess this is shit we rarely dealt with but uh you know the uh uh well i shouldn't say rarely but not as often definitely is down here but yeah the big thing is that you know they actually also they actually am fucking have the clothes for it so it's freezing out but again we know again especially with her with her like slim stature frame right so again doesn't even have a, what a novice doesn't even have gloves or a hat like because she has her hair cut short enough to where you could wear a hood like because it's something to where it's like, I, I still talk about how much I hate scarves and how like impractical they are. Like if you're next to that cold, wear a fucking like net gator, right? You know, and then you can pop, you know, get a, have a hood or wear like a beanie or something, right? The big thing is like, you're exposing your digits, right? You know, this is what I learned. Like the way I'd rock is I'd always wear, when it, when it'd get like real cold, I'd wear, A, I'd wear sweatpants as opposed to jeans because, again, those are better, like, conductor of heat. I'm, I'm, this is just experience. I could be talking out of my ass right now. But I find that those get less cold than, like, wearing jeans. So, I'd, I mean, I'd wear normal socks and shoes, right? I wouldn't – unless it's, like, real bad, then I'd wear, like, boots. But I, I'd try to, you know, unless that. But – and then i wear, like, socks. And then, you know, sweatpants. I'd wear just a T-shirt and then hoodie. But then what I would do is I would wear an overcoat or like, you know, I, I'd wear like a down jacket or like some like, 
you know, any kind of like jet, like old coat, you know, over. And then, you know, that way I still have the hood to cover my, especially because I cut my hair short and then potentially a second, you know. Uh, but then also like I'd either shove my hands in my pockets. I like don't, obviously it's because of the Sprite, but, you know, or like wear gloves and a beanie. I mean, it's like, and I'd be pretty warm. That'd get me down to like zero. Like that'd be what I rock down to like zero. If it's like below zero, okay, then I gotta be like, okay, I actually need to like fucking, and if I'm spending a certain amount of time outside, then it's like, okay, I need to like be serious about this. But I just lay up with anything I can. But that would be the general setup is, and that'd be what I'd use if it's like, you know, cold out, right? And it's worked, you know, I guess if it gets below zero, what I do is I make sure the rest of my body is covered up. So I probably use a net gator and definitely use the beanie gloves. But, you know, it's like, spawn to myself. It's never show. But again, we know why this is at the end of the year. Right? Again, that was where we also learned her mother supposedly died. But again, so then we start walking around. I mean, at least it'll warm up. Hey, her hand, it's at least it's not like, what was it? It's say you purposely didn't fucking wear gloves. So he'd fucking, you know, grasp her hand right i guess maybe that's what she did there but and again it's been snowing yeah less people on about i mean that makes sense it's like why would you want to be out and about in the snow it's all it's only really if you're doing shit right like it's not something to where it'd be snow and i'd be like oh it's snow i need to go out it's like if i'm just doing shit and it happens to be like snow and i'd be like this ain't too bad because especially and you learn this snow actually you know damn it's like sound like it gets quieter when snow is out because something was like absorbing the sound waves i don't know i'm not a scientist but it's like like winter more even more of summer. Well, I thought I was summer, but now again, being down here, down south in like Georgia, I'd say I'm much more of a fall person, you know, because I can respect at least their winter kind of equating to our fall, respect that type of weather more and that like environment. So, but again, you know, because I feel like I, I was summer, you know, growing up because like, okay, that's when you get breaks. That's when you're like, again, in relation to school, that's when you're kind of off, but Something right now, I'd say I'm more of a fall person. It's definitely grown. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate what to a point. Like, if it gets below zero, then it's like, okay, this is just obscene, you know? But, like, I'd say from that, like, zero degrees to, like, 32, like, you know, that's where I'm, like, fine with it. But if it gets below zero, honestly, even below, once it gets to single digits, like, that's where it's like, okay. Because I remember this wasn't even this past winter, but like winters prior when it get like to, I'd run outside up until it got to like single digits. Then it's like, you know, yeah, this is obscene. Cause I had run, but I'd layer. So I'd wear literally like a lot. So I'd wear like running like tights or like their compression pants, but basically tights. Uh, I'd wear like t-shirt, you know, long sleeve hoodie. I'd rock with the, uh, the tri-layer uh, cap gloves and then, you know, net gator. But if it got to single digits, I'd put on a sweatpants as well. And then, you know, a jacket on top of that. Right. So, but like, I'm, well, that'd be if it gets below freezing. But if it gets single digits, I don't even do it because it's like, it's just obscene. But like 10 degrees, to like 32 Fahrenheit, of course. Um, Not freaking Celsius because that's like 32 Celsius is like, that's like normal weather, but. It's hot chocolate season, dude. What does that even mean? Or I guess warm weather there. So, well, I got some dude like they, they have just, dude, like he's, there's no way he can fucking afford this shit, bro. Like zero chance. Like, yeah, that's why he's like, he's like, sounds, um, I actually, no, I'm, uh, I'm in debt. You know, my credit's through the roof. Wait, who's he getting? It's like, hey, we had a, there was a charge on your account for like $100. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bruh, why are you fucking calling in the middle of it then? Like, what, what is the, uh, He's like, yeah, I need tips. He's like, dude, like you're saying this as if she just can't fucking hear you. Like there's, a, he knows he's literally, he's going to get out this conversation. She's going to be like, who the fuck were you talking to? Cause you're literally just talking about what you're doing right now. So, cause he, yeah, wait, what? Yeah. It's like, get, yeah. D okay. That's okay. It's actually something serious. I was like, I, I don't know if you're just trolling or what, but it's like, okay. Yeah. So if you're a winner weather one it's like yeah get your ass home like i don't care if you're fucking you know doing whatever it's like yeah you got you gotta get back and the big thing is her right i mean like damn i wonder what's gonna happen maybe she goes home with him yeah 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 uh damn that's uh that's crazy right gets to meet her but you know it's um who knows maybe that happens maybe it doesn't uh dude shut the fuck up okay you can fucking freeze like what what do you mean it's not that bad out it's gonna get bad out soon like that's why you're being warned like that's 
Like if it was uh, like, dude, come on, like, don't like, I understand. Right. But it's like, you need to know when to cut your loss. Like this is one of the few things I feel like, well, not few things, but it's like one of the things that you'd be like, okay, you know, I should probably heed that warning. You know, it sucks. I need to cut this off, but it's like, you know, yeah, it's like, I'm not, yeah, it's like, yeah, this is not a choice. If you're not back here, you know, you're coming back. Right. Dude, no, don't fucking do this. I swear to God, he's actually going to do this and then get like strained. Like, like you know, there are a few people you don't argue with. It's your mother, right? You know, like he, I can't believe he's actually arguing back right now. It's like, dude, that's crazy. Like, like they're one of the few people you, and that's something you realize like growing up. It's like, you know, it's like, I, I'd, I'd argue with my dad more, but yeah, I'd almost never really argue with Mm, I, I kind of use, but uh, that's because again, I wasn't a good kid right until like high school. But again, it was like, uh, but yeah, it's like, dude, yeah, it's like, yeah, my word's final. You are coming back. Like, you, you don't have a choice. You assume you have a say in this. Yeah, you fucking, I swear to God, don't do something stupid. Like, I, I understand, you know, what he wants, but just don't do something stupid. This is literally like, because he, what's chances on us? He's literally going to ask him, like, oh, what was that? He's like, oh, you know, she was, was saying, oh, you know, uh, super weather warning, you know, just ignore it, right? But then I was probably going to be like, because again, she's smart. She's like, we should probably heed to that. You know, that's why, that's why it's like, you should probably uh, heed to that. It's like, you know, I don't know what you think you are, but you're not going to beat out the weather, you know? Yeah. That's why it's like, what about it though? Yeah. That's why it's like, yeah. That's why it's like literally like, you know, dude, this, <laughs> I don't understand why you wouldn't. So, and again, you know, uh, yeah, that's why, because she's even leaving too. So really brah they really just use that as an excuse to fucking do the transition okay it's not dude what dude it's only lunch what is what could have possibly happened that made the day so bad brah dude i swear to god he's actually just like a, dude come on dude the fuck the mc in this route is just so fucking incompetent dude like there's no way because like i don't think this was an issue in any other in your job he was pretty fucking you know attentive and like actually a good student you know it's crazy and even in like Sayori's right you know he was like actually kind of like on top of his shit but like dude gets up at 4 p.m fucking wakes up late again you know what do you mean you forgot to finish your paper you just didn't do it like like genuinely there's very like I think throughout all of college there and including high school there was one time for each high school and college where I forgot to print out a paper, not even forgot to do it, forgot to print out. This was for each. It happened once junior year of high school and once freshman year of college. Cause I remember which it was, it was English. And then uh, in a uh, fucking, it was English junior year of high school and then science uh, freshman year of college. It was like a gen ed, but it literally only happened twice. And it was forgetting, not even freaking to do it. Dude, if, what do you mean you forgot to finish? You just didn't do it. You're actually, he's actually, dude, you're a fucking failure. Come on. Yeah, dude. Oh my God. You got a fucking extension. Lucky ass. It's a surprise. You know, I didn't just get it. You know, what would you call it? Immediately uh, docked off. It's like Jesus. So yeah, dude, what do you mean you come on? Come on. What do you mean you don't procrastinate? Dude, there's, come on, dude. Like, because people do this shit in college. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, in high school, you can understand a bit more because you're a bit newer to like the academic, you know, system. And it's a bit more rigid or what would you call it, you know, structured there. But in college, you just have like so much flexibility regarding that shit. Like there's really no excuse. Like, but it's like, dude, come on. What do you mean you don't procrastinate? That's literally how you ended up. You woke. Extremely hungry, damn, you know. Damn, um, uh, wait, hold on. That's why I was like, did he fucking get food or is he just like, oh, I'm just not going to eat. So are you just not going to eat? Like, what's going on? Dude, like, you, you, like, damn, well, we know it literally applies to her. But it's like, dude, what do you mean? You, are you just not going to eat? Like, so it's not been the easiest. Dude, this is 100% on you. You can't even blame. You're getting a fucking extension for that. Like, you should consider yourself lucky. So, but here's the thing. She actually fucking does it, right? <laughs> so she has the right to complain. <laughs> but you, your ass just like slept through. So his hands don't start for a while. Well, the issue is because you need to actually teach all the material and then kind of go over it all. Especially if it's like cumulative exams and it goes over fucking everything. 
you know, rather than just buy term. Probably just, dude, that's literally not it. You got a fucking extension, dude. You have no right to complain. You literally have no right to complain. So, but again, the issue being that's like, you know, Logie, yeah, I feel bad for teachers now looking back. Uh, a big thing is, okay, you know, if you're actually doing the shit and staying on top of your stuff, you have the right to complain. That's so, but <laughs> a lot of what it comes down to is being a teacher fucking sucks ass. Like, genuinely, it's just fucking terrible there. Like, like it's honestly like, like I, I wouldn't mind being like a professor, a college professor, but like a teacher, you know, like, it's just like, yeah, no. Okay, I wouldn't mind being a high school teacher, but like, okay, middle school, I'm like, right, when, when you get middle school below, that's like, okay, you know, I fucking need that, but like, and even like freshman, sophomore, like, I'd say like, if you're an upperclassman teacher in high school, that ain't too bad. But it's like, again, well, we know A, not season of your first year, but it's also like, Again, also how to, I couldn't imagine how it is in the East because the East, you know, exams like and shit like that matter just way more. So, but it's like, because usually what it is, it's, you know, a few bad apples, you know, was it a few bad apples spoil the bunch, right? Or whatever that phrase is. It's like, you know, it usually just, even most of your students are good. All it takes is a few prom ones. And then it's kind of like, you know, yeah, teaching kind of sucks. And I'm realizing that now, you know, after the fact, but Tanaka, who the fuck knows who that is? Oh, yeah, I am for math. He only likes the smart kids, which meant I was basically on his hit list. Okay, but here, here's the thing. If he can't fucking complain, like, because the issue being the person he's kind of set, it's like, dude, okay, this, I don't think, you know, he's equating smart to actually doing your shit. But, you know, because, yeah, I am here, bro. All right, so... Apologize about that. Just, uh, I mean, we're, shit, I was, I completely forgot about time. We're about halfway through anyway, so. Mm. But yeah. Like I mentioned, uh, yeah, the big thing there is that's like, dude, he is, you have no right to complain. And that's like 100% on you. So it's like, again, you know. <laughs> That's 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 hundred percent on you. So it's like, at least she does. But it's like, but again, because she's also you know in the moment, right? But you're like on the back end, you know, looking back. So it's like, use the exact opposite. What would she say? Oh, I I didn't read like her comment. He's nice to me, but always yells. That's a, that's a little bit sus. <laughs> that's a, that's a little uh, that's a, <laughs> that's that's a little bit sus there. <laughs> yeah, that's a little uh. That's a little sus. That's um, that's uh, only you. It's like and nobody else. That's uh, you know, you need to question how why. That's so like, chance arts because you're a good fucking student. You know, a little bit goes a long way. That was the big thing I noticed. Like you know, me in like high school because the big thing is I miss shit for athletics. But like because I actually paid attention in class, did my work. You know, stayed attentive, like communicated. Like it goes a long way. You know. Like, that's because it's just like, you know, it makes their life easier, too, right? It's like, you know, see, I've never been good at, okay, damn, well, maybe you need to work on it. Not any advanced. I was the same boat. I was, I was pretty good, but like, I could have probably been like advanced classes, but I just, again, wasn't placed into them, I guess. Like, like I, well, especially for history, history, it was funny. I think it was like my regular government class. I ended the semester with like over 100% in the class and it was like crazy but for math too like math and science like i probably could have been in advanced classes like because i was like doing i wasn't just doing fine i was like excelling you know like acing the uh like i was probably like cool level classes but i guess who knows right but i don't really try okay that's the problem there isn't it not fucking trying right because it's like because this is again you know it's a big problem there especially if you're like naturally like gifted or like talented or have a thing for this is if you just don't fucking try, right? Okay, what happens when shit actually gets hard? Like, especially if you want to go to college or university, that's the big thing, right? Because once you go there, A, not only do you have a lot more control over what classes you take and how you schedule things matters a lot more versus in high school where it's much more rigid and concrete, like I mentioned. But it's also something where the habits you develop then actually, you know, end up being good later on down the line. So again, you know, <laughs> Again, something where it's like, when that ends up coming down to there is it's just like, 
you know, the big thing with that is, uh, like, I mean, obviously, if you don't plan on going, it's one thing that's like, dude, like, you know, if what would you call it? Um, again, something to where it's like, that's, that's like, like, let's be real here, right? It, it's something to where it's like, you know, what it comes down to is like, okay, you're just, because at that point, you're just not trying, right? So, now ancient Greece have, I mean, it's just good to know, right, for, like, just to, like, know, right? But then also, it's, like I said, not so much about what you learn, rather than the habits you're developing for later on, right? So, it's like, that's, let's see, I uh, have to know a lot, of, because again, we know this is fine enough, this is what he potentially wants to do, right? So, not going to be, well, he is, so learn stuff like that again but this is again this is what i talk about you know because i also talk about the old like oh you know why do we go to school so early uh you know uh why do we go to school so early we shouldn't go until like 10 it's like that's a very naive like like thought it's kind of a similar thing here it's like the issue being like in high school you're not like specialists you know in high school like your education is much more generalist it's in college and you know uh higher level education where it's much more specialized so now you're supposed to get that like what would you call it that you know breadth or like width of a knowledge right you're just supposed to learn about you're just supposed to learn as much as you can about as much of that stuff that way you know hey not always it, it may fulfill some genets but then you also don't need to worry about that stuff later on and it's like you can then just focus on whatever you want to you know study if you end up pursuing that route but it's like you know but that's also again developing those good habits that's the biggest thing out of any right you know that you carry over with you those like habits it's like dude like i wouldn't what would you call it? I wouldn't like, you know, uh, what's the term? Like, I wouldn't just like completely blow off a class because it's like, again, you know, what all that you you think that won't happen in college? You think you'll like turn your act around? Like, I had to make it sound so serious, but it's like the big thing is just about, you know, applying yourself, right? So, what about my toast is going to get me a job if it, you fucking deal with it? Like, at biology, you know, become a biologist, right? My toast is a meiosis. I still remember that. You know, mitosis is what, asexual? Meiosis is uh, sexual? Like, I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong? Hold on. Let me, if I'm wrong, I'm going to sound stupid as fuck. Mitosis, genetically the same. Okay, yeah, so asexual. That's why I was like, if I if I was wrong, that would have sounded stupid as fuck there, but don't ask. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm literally starving. Same, Uh, except her lunch is an air, right? Fucking, it's a fucking, the fucking protein bars, bro. <laughs> to be fair, though, that, okay protein bars are actually pretty fucking expensive like they're not an efficient lunch to make you know but obviously her dad just doesn't fucking care you know maybe you got my deal but it's like i got one for you would you get these uh she probably fucking stole them. that's what or you know that's what all the coins end up going for but again chances are that's probably all she has to eat that's a big thing there and again i don't know how it is in the east but at least for public high schools in the west um, they'll generally have some sort of like, a, what would you call it? Like, what's, what's the term? Like, it's an S term, like not sustained, but sort of, uh, what's, what's the term? I guess it eh, kind of, it's kind of sustained. There is a different S term. I can't remember it. It's like not substantiated. It's supplemented like some sort of like meal plan. If like, you can't like afford the normal one where you'll get like, uh, what'd you call it? You know? It'll still be like, uh, it'll just be like, what would you call it? The baseline, like options for whatever uh, cafeteria you're at. But again, it'll be like, you know, of like no cost. So it's like, if you qualify for that, then you'll like end up in that. They even sometimes do it for breakfast. Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember for our high school. I, I remember our middle, weirdly enough, our middle school had that, but our high school didn't. So yeah, I think that was, but high school had that, you know, program. So Chocolate and salty almonds, well, good. Damn, he's like, dude, that's why it's like, bro, get some water. He's <laughs> what brand? Uh, a brain machine. Okay, she so probably fucking stole them for some dip. Yeah, it's like, Jesus, like, why are you? It's like, why are you asking questions? Hey, why are you looking into this? It's not that serious, bro. That's why it's like, dude, wait, first off, how the fuck do you know your machines don't have that brand? Like, dude, you go to a big ass school, I wouldn't be surprised, right? That's why it's like, why is he like, so fucking all of a sudden, a fucking detective? It's like, dude, like, dude, you're, you're looking too much into it. It's not that serious, bro. You know, it's like, dude, why? What the fuck? Why are you so like nosy about this? Like, because like, okay, if he was like, 
if he saw it, he was like, huh, I don't recognize this. She probably must have got from somewhere or whatever, right? <laughs> she probably must have got from somewhere, you know? Like, again, some that I'm not aware of. Like, but instead, he's like, no, I know 100% for a fact that, uh, dude, it's like, it's not that serious. It's not that deep. Like, like, why are you treating that way? It's like, from the store. Yeah, because, because she knew your nosy ass would fucking look into it. Yeah, that's why it's like, literally, like, I don't know. I'm going to ask this. Why is he being so fucking nosy? It's like, dude, like, it's really not that serious. Like, yeah, dude, it's like, it's because you're being nosy as fuck right now. Like, genuinely no reason, like, you know. Dude. Okay. Literally, the store. Oh, so, hey, that's what I call him. Hey, here's the thing, though. I respect it. You know, stay on that fucking grind, right? You know, because obviously the issue being he doesn't know about our situation, you know. And until she lets on, which again, you know, we're again sneaking suspicion. Me and again, we confirmed it by going back and revealing that okay, our mother is actually dead. That there's more she's hiding from us, and then this would be kind of the perfect segue into that. But again, it's like, yeah, you know, you gotta respect that grind. Like, it, it's actually so fucking hilarious because this is, you know, I'm not gonna end it here because it's only been like 30 minutes. But this is a big critique, big like I'm 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 gonna take a moment to like pause and then break and then like talk about this because this is a very big critique and very big pet peeve of mine. Cause this is what it comes down to, and I even commented on this. There was no reason for the MC to be this nosy, right? And there was no sort of reason for his like line of thinking or like rationale being like, I know a hundred percent for sure. Our vending machines do not have this brand. Like, I know every single vending machine in this school by heart, and I know every single prize in them, and we don't have it. So where'd you get these from? And then, you know, her saying, okay, I got them from the store. You know, I didn't want to, you know, reveal it. But then he's like, okay, so then why did you say that? So like, but again, because he has a point. The issue being, it seems like the sole reason he was being nosy in this situation was so that it could lead to this conversation you know, again, rather than it flowing naturally, instead it was, it was just artificial so that we could reach this point to where, okay, she probably reveals more of what she's been keeping in or hiding from us because we know she's been withholding information. But it's like the big thing there is like it seems like that's going to be what segues into her actually telling us, you know, kind of the truth. But then it's like, okay, but like it came from this art of completely artificial interaction where for whatever reason he was like questioning her on the protein bars when it's like, dude, nobody fucking cares. Like it's, and it's again, you know, I still respect the grind though. I respect her stealing. Right. <laughs> but again, cause obviously he's going to be like, Oh, you should steal, you know, stealing's uh bad. Right. But obviously he doesn't know the full extent given that she has been withholding and that's why she would tell him there. So you what I stole them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I stole them. I took them. Right. You know, it's just, I fucking, I took them. Right. Yeah. It's like, dude, like, that's why it's like, dude, there's no reason for him to be that fucking nosy, right? You fucking dumbass. You're actually a fucking idiot. Dude, it's not that serious, bro. Like, dude, okay, if you're like, because this is going to sound terrible, right? But, well, A, you don't know if she actually stole them from the store or the vending machines. Because you can, you know, rig vending machines, right? Maybe if you steal from the store, it's like, dude, like, Let's, let's put it this way. If you're stealing from fucking like Walmart or Target, right? It's like, okay, dude, like those, you're, they're not like taking a loss from that. I hate to say it, right? It's like, you know, not saying I condone it, but it's like in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's a very minuscule or minute uh, loss on their part. So it's like, dude, like he's like freaking like, he's like, just like, what would you call it? He's freaking like, you know, imploding right now. And it's like, dude, it's not that serious. Trust me. And especially given we know her, she's, she's not stealing for the hell of it. Like, if she stole fucking a pair of shoes, it's like, okay, you know, like, or like a freaking, like, if she stole like a freaking, what, what's in our common thing, you know, like jewelry or like fucking, you know, like um, electronics. It's like, okay, that's one thing, right? You know, that's like, yeah, okay, you're going above and beyond, but she's doing fucking food, right? It's like, you know, you respect it right like i respect it like i'm with her in this situation you know he's like freaking imploding you know he's like shitting himself and like dude it's dude like she was literally well but this the, the thing is he needs to pry right because again now he's like you're not really getting fed are you like it's it's deeper than what you've like made out to be because <coughs> we do know can confirm there <coughs> that <coughs> jesus 
that again, you know, she is withholding that information. So it is like, oh my God, dude. We really get this fucking actually, this is a good point to end it. This is a good point. This is actually a tough choice. Because okay, these three choices are pretty fucking no brainers, right? And I guess this comes up with a and I guess this makes sense, right? Granted, right? again, he still needs to learn the kind of deeper truth, right? Again, what she's been withholding, but it's like, yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting choice. Because again, looking at this, it's something to where it's like, I mean, you know, because obviously it's like for me, well, okay, uh, like let's put it this way. You can say like, oh, it's all right. I understand. But the issue with that being then maybe it's something to where it's like Yuri's right to where, okay, you kind of need to like encourage to go off on her own or like you, you need to be like more proactive, more like of an opposition there to kind of encourage her to like be more <clears throat> independent in a sense. So you gotta go on way. So maybe again, saying something like don't steal, like maybe again, that causes her to be like, okay, you know, I'll put it, but like, he needs to know. So she shares like the truth about like tr why she didn't try to justify it, even if she's not going to do it again versus, cause it's like, what do you mean you understand that situation? You don't, right? Cause I can see her blowing up on that where it's like, oh, it's all right. I understand. You really don't, right? Like, you know, so I don't know. I'm, I'm actually torn, you know, I want to say that, but it's like, it also feel again, remember one out of two, right? I got Yuri's route wrong. And I even, I got it wrong a fucking second time. So it's like, you know, the uh, big thing there, right, is, I mean, again, at least, you know, yeah, I still have, that, that shit just pisses me off. The fact that I got yours route wrong a second time. That's, I have no idea how I ended up getting a good ending then, but it's like, I think for this situation, what I'll do is, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably say it's all right. I understand. I feel like that's the best way to go about Um yeah, I feel like that's the best way to go about there. So, mm. that's what that comes down to. Because I don't want him to say like, "Oh, don't, don't steal," you know. Like, because the big thing is, I just want him to learn the deeper truth. Because then they can actually start fucking work on the problem. And also, it's like, okay, dude, like, like let's put it this way: she's no like jewelry or like you know shoes or like like giants. Okay, that's that's like yeah, you're just fucking stealing. But again, this is literal like sustenance. So also there's no way he should have fucking like a freaking detected. Like he was so nosy, but it's like I respect it, you know. It's something to where it's like uh yeah, the uh the thing there's uh who knows? Again, it's like oh first thing I thought the smoke alarm was going off, but anyway, it looks like the big thing there is um yeah, that's it's kind of who knows right i think this this is a good place to end it it's like the big thing there is um yeah you know what it comes down to is uh yeah i guess uh we'll see right we'll see it's just uh yeah i think i'm I'm gonna go with this bottom one again i'm one for two right i still have no idea how the fuck i got the wrong ending a second time but who knows right who knows so anyway that's what that comes down to there but the big thing there is, yeah, who knows? So I'm not going to go through Curie's fucking route again. Um, But yeah, the big thing there is we'll see, right? But with that, I don't really have anything else for this part. Chance to all people do a second part, just who knows, maybe later today. But yep, so that's it for this one. See you in the next one.